go and carry the fuck. Yeah, go, e- you want me to become Peter Griffin this freaking early? Come on. It's, it's, like, it's like freaking you 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm all freaking fried out. I'm wet. I'm, I'm cold. <laughs> what the hell is it? My, my fingers could probably cool a drink right now. <laughs> Look at how foggy I am. Look at this. Get a close up with a freaking fog. Look at that. Look at that. I need freaking Rudolph until so freaking fog. Coke Man's not supposed to laugh. <laughs> One of the Joes. Yes, I am that cool. Why do you go to Comic Con? Because it's fucking amazing. It's like going to Disney World but being a geek. You go to New York Comic Con to find out about video games, TV shows, all that kind of stuff. That's what's cool about New York Comic Con. It's a one-stop shop for everything. Wee! All right, here it is. The red carpet, you bastards. Get out of my way. Yeah, you go. Hey, man, you're interested in we'll do them all just because you're Peter Griffin, man. 40 bucks for all the manuals and the games. Every manual and game for 40 bucks, just because I'm Peter Griffin. I get sales for being fat and wearing green pants. Impressions really just came natural to me, like, like almost like like an instant. Who oh, wants a high five? Peter Griffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So I slapped together stuff that I had. I happened to have green pants from St. Patrick's Day. I have a white button down shirt because everybody has one. And I wear I have round glasses because I do Santa Claus for my company. And I slapped it together and I was like, great, Peter Griffin. Just one stupid joke where I go to the ATM and the money came out. I was like, oh my god, I won. And from then on, it's just been like caught like wildfire. I don't know where to look. And freaking Mattel doesn't show up. Where the hell are my He-Man figures? And that's what grinds my gears. Oh, God. This is what the doctor ordered. You bastard. You sound exactly like Peter Thank Griffin. you. I appreciate that. Here you go. Here you go. Avengers assemble! What? Vroom, vroom. All right. Here you go. You're welcome. Great to see you. Hey, catch them all. Batman. So what's new? Not much. How's Chris? He's doing all right. And Meg? Who cares? Have you heard? You know, one in every 12 Americans is unaware that the bird is a word. I, for one, believe in America where everyone knows that the bird is a word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird's a well, a well, a bird, bird, bird. Real life Peter Griffin here at New York Comic Con. Tops will return after these messages. I'd be watching Looney Tunes. I'd be like, yeah. What's up, Doc? And I would just pick up the voices. And before I realized it, I could do, like, every Looney Tune. I could do every Muppet. And it just started growing and growing. You don't realize what an impact these voices have. Like, if you think of the claw from, from Inspector Gadget. You don't know who plays the claw. But you know that voice. Nice to meet you, Bane. Got it. I see you later. You're merely on top of the dock. I was born in it. Take your weapon, strike me down with all of your hatred, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. Funky you, like a monkey, Funky space is like the place, monkey. sky is the limit, tower of power too sweet to be sour, to Ooh, yeah! You know what I love the most about New York Comic Con is the freaking friends that I see every, every year. Like, I go to work, and I'm like a nobody. I have a nobody job, making nobody pay. Then I go to New York Comic Con, and people are pulling out phones like I'm freaking Brad Pitt or some shit. It makes me feel like a million bucks. It's the reactions that I get out of what I do that gives me the joy of what I do. Hi. Excuse me? (laughs) 